In the wake of the riots, the Orioles postponed tonight's game against the Chicago White Sox. That's right. The interesting news is what Major League Baseball decided for tomorrow's game. The Orioles will play the White Sox in an empty stadium. Camden Yards will be closed to the public for tomorrow's game. The Major League Baseball released the following statement. After conferring with local officials, it was determined that Wednesday afternoon's game should be played without fan admittance in order to minimize safety concerns. Joining us now is WCBS New York sports anchor Otis Livingston. Otis, thanks for uh, joining us here today. This really is unprecedented. It certainly is. I mean, it's an unprecedented situation. Uh, you know, they decided that because of public safety concerns that they would play it in front of no one. This is the first time that this has ever happened. Now, uh, baseball games have been postponed, mm -hmm. you know, because of unrest before. 1992 in Los Angeles, the Dodgers had four games postponed after the Rodney King verdict. Mm -hmm. And in 1967 in uh, Detroit, because of the riots there, they had games postponed. So this is not unprecedented that the postponement, but actually playing in front of no fans, mm -hmm. that's, that's unprecedented. Why even play this game? Why not just postpone it to a later date? Well, I mean, they want to get it done. I mean, think about it. They they had to postpone Monday night's game, yeah. Tuesday's game. You know, you want to play Wednesday, you know, right. and then because that's the only time that that team was supposed to be coming into town. So you want to play as many games as you can. Um, it's going to be weird. I just wonder, are they going to play walk-up music? Oh, no. are they gonna, <laughs> they, there won't be right. any, any concessions. Get your peanuts. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, from a player's perspective, it's going to be, uh, you know, is it going to be distracting? I think it might be a little distracting. I mean, they're there to play baseball. They're mm -hmm. professionals. But it, this is going to be less than a spring training crowd. I mean, mm. no right. one's going to be in the ballpark. Of course, there's going to be officials and people like that there. But you Is know, this, this going to be gonna, televised? I believe so. That's, That's going to be, be really yeah. weird. It's going to be empty really stadium, <laughs> silent. Wow. Yeah. Are they going to play the organ music as you said? It's going to be nobody. You know, no parking attendants or right. that right. day. You know what I mean? So that, it's going to be very interesting. So okay, so let's talk about this um, economically. That's a huge it, amount it, of money sure. that is. a lot of people, um, you know, the vendors and mm -hmm, whatnot, mm -hmm. and the people that actually work in the stadium. Mm -hmm. So there's an economic it's, impact it here too. It certainly is. And coming up this weekend, the uh, Orioles were supposed to play a weekend series with Tampa. They moved that to Tampa, and mm -hmm. now the Orioles are going to be the home team down in Tampa. So, you know, they're moving this thing around to get the schedule going, though. They couldn't have decided to play this game back in Chicago? Uh, let's see. Orioles. Yeah, well, I guess they could have right, done it. But, but it's I just mean, too much logistically. Yeah, you got to fly yeah, the teams back. Know, and then right. for one game. Mm -hmm. Right. But, and what about Ray Lewis? Yeah, Ray Lewis was What's fired up. up. You know, yeah, fired of, up. Of course, you're going to have some of these sports athletes that are, are chiming in, you know, giving their opinion as to what's going on. Carmelo Anthony, who was born here in New York, but is pretty much a native of Baltimore, mm. uh, a, a native of Baltimore. He uh, made a plea on Instagram. It was very well thought out and everything. And then you get Ray Lewis on his Facebook, uh, the video. Oh, my goodness. It was a yeah, He made like, me want to go down. You know I know, I mean? it's like, he's like, violence is not the answer. <laughs> exactly. Violence is, I'm like, I will talk to you. <laughs> right? Violence is not the answer. But I mean, he, he did. He spoke to the young kids, you know, mm. trying to make them realize that this is not the way to handle it. Yeah. It's supposed to be a protest, and that's one thing. But then when you start looting, rioting, and doing all that yeah. other stuff, it takes away from what you're actually supposed to be there for, so. Well, talk about a few bad apples ruining yes. it for everyone, because I'm sure that those Oriole fans aren't pleased about this. No, but bummed. what about the mom, though? Uh, Tyra yeah. Graham okay. reminds me of my mom. Otis <laughs> has five children. Yes. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, from a parent's perspective, what's your thought on that? You see your kid out there riding, throwing rocks at a police officer. I, I immediately hearken back to an, a situation. I grew up in South Central L.A., and I had a couple friends that got into trouble from time to time, got brought home one time in a police car. Mm. His mother came out of the apartment. Mm. Mm. and did the same thing, mm -hmm. and the police were actually rescuing him <laughs> from her. You know yeah. I mean? But, yeah, that's what I thought about immediately. But, you know, you, you want to protect your children. You yeah, want to make sure. sure that they know, and sometimes it comes out like that. Um, I'm sure they had a nice discussion about it afterwards, <laughs> right. and, and he realizes, the, you know, the fault that he had. Wow, here's the video again, and, and, you know, this is what some people had problems with is, you know, this yeah. initial um, interaction there. Yeah, I... I I can understand yeah. a little, you know, people being alarmed, but like I said, I, I, it reminded me of when I, I was back know, and growing up. Me too. Yeah, me you too. know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We're all in the same boat. <laughs> exactly. All right, Otis, thanks so much. Thanks for oh, thank come, you, coming by. Come right, by again. Definitely. Thank you.